Okay, I'm going to cover for you how to set up your field. Remember, we're trying to take a non-traditional learning environment, the PE field, and make it like a golf environment. So when I come onto a field, okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick where I'm going to put my green. For my green, I'm going to use my rope, okay, and I'm going to use a stick. I use a teaching stick. Use something. I used to. Put, this is what I have in here, okay. So let's just say I'm doing chipping today. So I'm going to come in. I'm going to get my rope all set up. I'm going to get my rope in there. So I'll get my rope and my target set up. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my mats and my tees. Imperative, mandatory, 12 foot spacing on a semicircle. You're going to put them on a semicircle so when you're standing out in front, yeah, we don't teach from behind, we teach out in front, okay, so that we can see the kids. You want to peripherally be able to see all of your players with the move like this. So, so if you put them in one linear line, it's a lot harder to see them. So you put them on a semicircle so you can stand out there and do them. So I'm going to pick a spot for the chipping. I'm going to set one up, and then I'm going to go 3, 6, 9, 12, etc., etc. I'm going to keep them going that side, then 3, 6, 9, 12, okay? And I'm going to drop a T at each station, okay? After I got all my, t my <coughs> mat set up, I'm going to put about 15 balls at each side. Put it on the hitting side, <coughs> okay? So, player can get his feet over here, the balls are right there. Don't scatter them out, don't put them behind, put them right there. When you get over on the end, set up a left-handed station. You're not going to be sure the first week how many lefties you have. So, I'll have all my righties going, and then on the far side, I'm going to have one left-handed. Okay, and of course the balls are going to be on the opposite side because they're going to be there. If I get to the class and I find out, hey, I got two lefties, just take one mat and move it. If I find out I don't have any lefties, I'll take the mat, pick it up, and move it. And so that's always what I have. But do not put righties and lefties in together where they're going to be swinging toward each other. So now I've got my tee set up. i got my ball set up. I'm going to take my clubs. You're going to have three sizes of clubs. So I'll set all my medium clubs in one pile, my long ones in one pile. Okay my short ones in one pile, and my lefties in one pile. Do not let kids distribute clubs. You distribute clubs. So when they come over, you pick club, hand it to the size. When I hand them a club, I always hand them the club just like this, and I say, hold it like this with a club across your chest and wait here. So I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna hand out all my clubs, all the kids will have their spots. Now I'm gonna say, hey, lefties, take that far end, go. Righties, go pick a spot where you wanna hit, okay? So when they get there, and I tell them, take your club to your station, set the grip on top of the mat and wait for me to tell you. So then you can move out into position, okay, and you can start the class. Never allow a club, a kid, to walk while somebody's set up with a club in their hand because they're going to do this and the potential for accidents there. So this is how we walk with clubs, okay, and don't let anybody start the process until we're there. We operate under four main safety rules. Number one, we set up together. When I'm standing out in front out here and I'm looking, when I say ready position, everybody gets set up, okay? When I give them the swing command, when I look, ready, and hit, they swing. So we set up together, we swing together. If you swing and your mat moves, your mat moves, they cannot go get it. If you want to leave your station for any reason, raise your hand, you check to see if it's safe, go get your mat, pick up your mat, return it back. So safety rule one, we set up together. Two. We swing together. Three, you can't move without permission. Take your water bottle. Help them bring their water bottle. Set their water bottle right here so they never have to leave to go get it. Thirsty? Don't have to leave your station. And then the fourth <coughs> swing rule is we only get one swing. If you swing and you whiff, eh, counts, okay? They'll start hitting it. So, so set up together, swing together, can't leave without permission, and can't get double swings. And if they do that, and you teach it, teach it every day. First class, teach it. During the day, if somebody happens to move, eh, 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 okay, teach them. They'll learn. They're kids. They're trainable. They're educated. They can be educated. That's what I'm telling you, okay? So work on those four safety rules. <clears throat> so when you start off your class, you'll always start with something about the stroke. So when I bring my group in together, I've got the range set up, and I go, okay, let's talk about chipping stroke. And I'll have them stand here, and I'll watch me. I'll demonstrate body turn, arm swing, how to hit, okay, okay? Now they're ready to go, okay? When they go with the club, boom, club across chest, <coughs> club on the ground. Now everybody, now pick up your club, okay? Line up your mat, okay? And go to ready position. 
okay? So everything's together, everything is with complete control, okay? And that's how you run it. When you stand, you're gonna stand out there by your target, okay? I say ready position, boom, they're all ready. And I say, hey, next five shots, remember, hey, body back, body forward. How many of you can finish in this position for me? Ready and hit, hey, great job, good job. Hey, new ball, ready? Hey, don't forget that turn, ready and go. We might work on that. Hey, next five shots. I want you to think about that arm swing. Up to your knee, down to the ball, out to the target. Ready and hit. Great arm swing, guys. You guys are getting it. Hey, Mikey, Mikey, eh, don't lift it, brother. Keep that club down there low, okay? Hey, you know, hey, Mary, don't try to scoop it. Swing down to the ball. <clears throat> so, five, ten shots when you're standing out there. Hey, team meeting, everybody put your club on the ground. They put their club on the ground you walk into a station, stand and watch. So they stand and watch, now you cover another component. Let's talk about balance, let's talk about eye control. Let's talk about anything on that list that we talked about. Uh, you know, any part of that sub skills in there for the chipping, okay? You cover that and you go back out, okay? Hey, next five shots, let's see who can keep your eyes nice and stable and then finish. Nice and stable and then finish, beautiful. Hey, who's got great balance? You got, uh, show me. Hey, good balance on your feet, hold, Band. Beautiful, okay? Hey, 10 shots, 12 shots, team meeting, club down. Hey, time to play some games, okay? Whatever time you're in there, okay? Hey, we're gonna hit 10 shots. We're gonna keep track, okay? You got it? Okay, ready and hit, okay? Ah, hey, hey, that was a two pointer. That's nice. Oh, Marvin, hey, you got the closest to the pin right now. Somebody's gotta beat Marvin. Come on, let's go, ready, okay? And you do it like that. So you're always standing out there and you always have control of the club. If you have a struggling student, okay, maybe they got this look going in there and you can't get them. Hey, team meeting. Hey, let's talk about spacing. Let's talk about how to stand. Here, come here, son. Okay. <clears throat> so now you get him in right there and you move him and you can adjust him or her into position right there. Now, let's show him the turn, 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 okay? So you can work with a struggling student during your team meeting, okay? But don't stand over there and there, see somebody struggling, walk down there and go, oh, let me go help this kid. And you've got the rest of your group standing there because when the idle time is bad time. Keep them hitting, keep them moving. Teach and then play. That's the format we talked about before, okay? And teach, teach, teach. If you do that, everybody's gonna go, okay? Monitor your group, okay? 10, 12, hey, water break. Water break, hey, hey, set your club on the ground, drink. Okay. If you happen to have shade by there, someplace in there, take a little break. Don't wear them out. So I like to hit in this time of year, the heat, because Florida's hot, Arizona's hot. Okay, 20 shots, okay, water break for five or six minutes, okay, back out, 20 shots, water break, okay, and go. And that's how it is. So monitor your group, okay. It wants to be fun. So we want to make sure that they're learning something, they're having fun, and what's the most important thing we teach? Safety, 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 and safety. Okay, pound down those four safety rules. We set up together, we swing together, we don't move without asking permission, okay? And we don't get two swings, we get one swing. If you follow those four safety rules, you're gonna run class after class after class and you're never gonna have an accident and that's obviously the very main goal, okay? So have fun doing it, okay? Put your personality into it, teach some sub skills, play some games, make sure your group all has fun. When it's time for pickup, you know, you're looking at your watch, you say, okay, hey, seven minutes, eight minutes until class ends. All right, hey, hey, last two shots. Once they hit the last two shots, okay, everybody, take your club, drop your club, okay, meeting, come to me, okay. Pick up your bag and say, okay, hey, you, you're gonna hold the bag and you're gonna stand out there. You and you are gonna go take my clubs, you're gonna go pick them up, you're gonna bring them like this, you're gonna put them back in my golf bag. You and you, you're gonna go pick up my mats and my tees. You're gonna bring them back here. You're gonna stack my mats together. You're gonna to put the tees in the bag. The rest of you, you're gonna go pick up balls and put them in the bag. Go, go, okay? You stand, you watch, you make sure everybody's doing it all, and you go. You have different jobs every week. The worst job is picking balls. I don't know why, but it's the worst job. So give a different job every week. Now, <clears throat> you got seven minutes. Parents are starting to come in there to pick up. When you call, come in, hey, meeting okay tell the parents week one hey this is how i want checkout to go okay i don't want you to grab your kid and go if you're in a hurry 
Come and see me. I'll get your kid, and we'll get you out the door. But you got to sign out. You're going to have a check-in roster that we'll discuss in another video. You got to check out. You know, same thing. Check-in box. Check out. So when you come there, hey, Coach Jeff, nice to meet you. Who, who's your son? Oh, man, my, great. Hey, really enjoyed having him today. Sign right here for me. Boom. Sign, sign, sign. You'll know or you'll figure out who's an extended day kids club, mascot club, goes by a bunch of different names. It just means they don't go home with a parent, they go back to the extended day office. You kids are going to sit here and go last. So check out the parents, take the rest of your kids, walk them in there. I don't care if the building is right next door, you got to walk them in because until that kids club or kids express person, until they sign them out, we're obligated for them. So walk into there, go, hey, I'm the golf guy, here's my kids, sign, sign, sign. Your clubs are all loaded up. Out the door you go okay so that's the setup it's important get that set up 12 feet on a semicircle if you get it set up perfectly you're good always set that up there just move the target back if you went up to the, the advanced levels you know you get into week five or six you group okay move your target set up in one spot take your stick move your stick over here hey can you change your mat can you pick up your mat realign your mat boom 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 okay you can start to if you wanted to have a real advanced group once you did the chipping strokes for a few weeks, the pitching, the full swing, you could balance, you could, you could switch it up. And in there you go, hey, hey, we're full swinging for a while. You know what, hey, hey, look where my target is. You move the target in, what do you got to do now? We got a chip, coach, yeah. Okay, hey, rem ah, remember, hey, above, up to the knee, down. So you can keep bouncing those strokes around. So change the aims and change that in there. Always have fun. What do we teach? Safety, safety, and more safety. Hope this helps. If you ever have any questions, feel free to call me. Call Bart. We'll give you all the answers to your need. We've done thousands of these clinics, so we know what we're doing. And at the end of the day, if your kids are safe, if they're having fun, parents will re-sign up. We stay in business, more kids learn to play, and we keep this great game of golf going. Good luck.